from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this 10 News update. The coronavirus is spreading at the Otay Mesa detention facility. ICE says 18 detainees have tested positive. The detention facility is run by a private prison company called Core Civic. We did receive confirmation this morning from the company that 10 of their staff members there have tested positive. Meanwhile, Senator Kamala Harris has called for an investigation into the conditions at that facility. Local leaders still talking about plans for how we can reopen when medical experts say it's safe to do so. Reopening will be done in phases after the county meets certain criteria. County Public Health Officer Dr. Wilma Wooten says even after businesses reopen, there will be major changes for a while, including wearing facial coverings and keeping social distancing strategies in place. Feeding San Diego passing out food today to families in need. For weeks now, Mayor Faulkner has partnered with Feeding San Diego and the San Diego and Imperial County's Labor Council. The food distribution starting this morning at SDCCU Stadium. Everyone will have to stay in their cars. No one will be allowed to walk up to get food. That giveaway continues until all the food is gone. Now let's get to caught up on the forecast with Melissa Masiha. Mel. And we do have a chance for light showers here throughout the day for your Saturday. Temperatures will be mild into the low to mid 60s along the coast. We're going to see the 60s as well in our inland valleys. Cool for your weekend and then a warm up on the way as we get toward the middle of next week. We're going to be in the 70s, mid 70s here along the coast. And then we'll even see the 80s in our inland valleys. Virginia. Thank you, Mel. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.